our Peace Energy Cooperative has been so, so good to work with. So uh, it made the whole process very easy for me. Being a hero is easier than you think. Well, there's a couple reasons. The, the main reason it's I felt that it's just the right thing to do and it's, uh, it's certainly going to be my contribution towards improving the climate crisis that we're in. Um, and besides that, it, it definitely makes economic sense. And um, I've been really impressed with that end of it as well. So on both fronts, it made it, made it easy. Um, I love the grid tied system. It's easy to work with. Um, Peace Energy. They called me, the person who was working at, at the Peace River office, because she knew I was somewhat interested. We chatted in other venues about the possibility and so she thought that it might be something I'd be interested in and came out and did an initial um, survey of what what the system might look like here, um, what what the shade issues might be, any of that kind of thing. So when when we did that and then um, took it back to the office, designed the array, did some shade analysis and came up with some cost analysis as well. And um, after that, we, we proceeded and got the permits in place. And, and um, yeah, it worked pretty, pretty well. The crew of one arrived and uh, he had most of it up in two days and <laughs> came back because he needed to do some other work downstairs to do with the new fuse box and that sort of thing. We had to wait for ATCO to do a two-way meter in my yard, which was a bit of a, a hold up. But I, I think from, from this point, they're more used to what's going to be um, you know, involved in doing this. I think it was their first one in our area as well, possibly. At any rate, um, once we got that all sorted out and permits from the county, which were minor, but things that, that needed to get done, which Peace Energy took care of all of that as well. So one of the other options I, I did opt for, which makes some sense as I live out of town, and from time to time the power does go down in the winter, and it is an option of having a gas generator that plugs into the solar array that then will power a very limited amount of of um, appliances, et cetera, in my house, one of them being my furnace and, and uh, a, a little bit of light available and so on, which I think is, is a nice um, backup system if in fact you absolutely need power to make sure your, your pipes don't freeze, you know, that your furnace is gonna run and so on. I have a wood stove as well. So that wasn't the absolute necessity for me, but I, I did install it at the same time, um, simply because I thought it's a good selling feature and, and there's no doubt that, um, that overall it's, it's improved the quality and the, um, the value of my, my property. Uh, one of the other things that I should mention is insurance on my solar panels. I did talk to my insurance company. They had no trouble um, deciding to insure it as is. I took lots of pictures and so on for them. It's part of my my package so if anything were to happen it it is covered just like everything else in my in my farm package. Become a member of Peace Energy Renewable Energy Cooperative today. We're bringing clean energy to the world together. <laughs>